on the next episode of Why Did I Spend My Money On That? Walmart MTG Cubes are back. That's right. We're going to be cracking these open storage cubes. Call them whatever you want. I've been opening these on the channel since the beginning. And I'd say annually, MJ Holdings, which is the company that puts these on the shelves, probably drops them perhaps quarterly, maybe every three months, maybe every four months. And when they do, I like to open them up. In the very early stages, when these cubes were hitting shelves at Walmart, I was pulling out expensive commander decks. Back then, you could just take a cube, go to your produce section, throw it on the scale, bam! If it weighed over a certain amount, you knew you had something good. You knew you had an EDH deck. Well, they definitely changed the game up. I wish they would bring that back, but I think because it's so darn easy, everyone goes out and they're like, ah, oh, they don't weigh much anymore. Or they shake the cube to see what's inside, you know, and you can... I decided not to do that. I want to be completely legit with this. I think it's more exciting that way. I saw these two on the shelves. They have the Ixalan booster packs as well as Corset 2020. Hence the Jurassic Park shirt, I understand. Favorite movie growing up. Enough of the crap. Let's crack these open. Uh, there was one point I remember opening like a $150, $175 commander deck. Even some all-foil decks came out of these cubes. I wish they would return to those days. I don't know what made them put the cubes in there. All I know, let me spend my money so you don't have to. Let's see what's up inside of these. Also, a little fan mail from Crystal Augular. I hope I'm saying that right. We're going to crack that open throughout the video as well. <sighs> Let's see what mess I got myself into. Here we go, cubes. Skadoosh. I often think, maybe it's the dumb in me. That goes back to these Walmart cubes. Let's see what's inside of here. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. So, yeah, on uh, both sides, Ixalan, Ixalan, Corset 2020, Corset 2020. The one felt a little heavier when I picked it up, but I didn't hesitate. I just grabbed two of them, and that was it, baby. And now we're going to see what's all inside. Man, the crazy stuff I pulled. You guys can definitely go back. Just search on YouTube, Walmart MTG Mystery Cube or mtg mystery cube and I'm, i guarantee you'll find a lot of these videos with crazy value what do we got here oh the mystery okay so clearly it's not a commander deck well you never know the last one i opened to these we pulled out some good stuff um there was a, a collected company in there and uh at the time i think it was going for about 16 dollars and these cost 19 dollars 99 cents Plus tax. That is the weirdest feel on this Ixalan booster pack I've ever opened. What the heck was that about? Um, yeah, and there was another card as well that was in there. I want to say it was worth about eight bucks, nine bucks. So in those two cards alone, I got my money back, plus all the other little cards that went with it. Um, and the booster packs were like a major plus. Let's see if we can do it again. You never know, guys. All right, let's tell you up the value. Raiders Awake. There we go. A little Atsakan Archer. Okay, okay, whatever. All I want to know... Ooh, that's a, that was a great card during its standard, though. River Snake couldn't be blocked, and then he gets the plus one, plus one, legit. What do we got behind door booster pack number one? I got tape stuck to my finger. Okay, there we go. Uh, Verdant Sun's Avatar. Okay. I feel like I had a ringing in my ear. Anyway, Verdant Sun's Avatar. Fun Dino. But really, never saw any competitive play. Just kind of like a janky thing. And we got ourselves an island with a treasure token out the back. Okay. That went as expected. No Carnage Tyrant, unfortunately. I, know. I don't know what it is, but these packs, they, they feel a little different today. They feel different, man. I don't know what it is. All right, Stone Golem, Servant. Some of this, nobody cares, nobody cares. Ooh, fun card. I love this card. Easy little card draw. Get you a body in the sky. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Vampire of the Dire Moon, pretty good, uncommon right there. I'll take it. The Death Touch and Lifelink for just a one drop. Pretty cool. Can do all sorts of things with that. Ooh, got the Aether Gust. Not bad. A brilliant, brilliant. Uh, actually, there was a time this was being mainboarded because it was so ridiculous. Um, and this card had to come through. Flame Sweep, another pretty decent removal if you were running red. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Ah, oh, Gargles Vicious Lachor. 
Not the best card. All right, so our first two booster packs were absolute duds. And that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, my friends. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cool island, though. Got a little foil island. All right, that might be 40 cents. Mm -hmm. All right, so not too... No, that was terrible. All right, like, yeah, let's call a spade a spade. That was absolute atrocious. Pulled nothing good out of that first one. But let's see what we got here. What is behind this? Desecration Demon. Love this card. However, let's see what's in here. I have no clue what I'm opening right now. I don't know what this is. Why not? Everything feels different today. Okay, I don't know. Something's going on. Desecration Demon. There you go. All of its glory. Really cool card. Beginning of, your, of each combat. Any opponent may sacrifice a creature if a player does. Tap Desecration Demon and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. In fact, that was pretty legit, man. It's a four drop only. Pretty cool. Gotta make them sack, baby. Spoiler of Souls. Oof. Okay. What What is going on here? We got two rares back to back. Spoiler of Souls can't block. For Deuce, exile two other creature cards from your graveyard. Return to Spoiler of Souls from your graveyard to the battlefield. That's pretty bad. All right, moving along. So we got two rares. Oh, another cool demon. We got demons and horrors. There's like a theme going on here. What is I'm? I don't know what this is. I'm opening though. Five drop demon flying. Another one of my favorite demons. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card and less target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. That's a pretty steep price to pay. If they ain't running life gain man and a lot of creatures, they're gonna be hurting, baby. They are gonna be hurting. Fun card. Oh, and pestilence demon. Get a load of that guy. Seven six. Oh, thick boy, huh? Whoa, big old 7-drop. Some fading going on there. Look how light that is. I don't know if you can really make it out too well. Uh, but yeah, for one, Pestilence Demon deals one damage to each creature and each player. I mean, if you have a little bit more life than your opponent, just keep pumping that all the way up until you win the game, am I right? There you go. It's got flying, too. Cool card. Doesn't see too much play. Oh, we got a what? Okay. So we already got four rares. This is different. Priest of the Blood Rite. Get a load of that guy. Had a bad day. Yeah, you did. All right. Human Cleric, when Priest of the Blood Rite enters the battlefield, put a 5-5 five, five black demon creature token with flying onto the battlefield. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose two life. Oh, brutal. I guess if you keep bouncing this thing, that could be cool. Get a whole bunch of 5-5 five, five black demons, you know. Eh, it could be something. Who knows? All right. So that's all the rares. So quite a few rares there. Uh, Carrier Thrall times two... Some impies, some more imps. All right. I doubt there's going to be anything too uh, too fantastic near the end of this. Squelching leeches. Get a load of that. It's the old star star, guys. The old star. All right. Renegade demon disfigure. Gotta love the art on disfigure. Really neat. Innocent blood. Some trolls. Quest for the grave lord. Man, that was skinned alive. All of them were not having a good time, huh? Two of those. Okay. Alters Reap, a Doom Blade. Amazing removal. Just for deuce. Destroy target non black creature. You could get away with almost side or not sideboarding this, mainboarding this in a lot of black decks. Got two of those. Grim Discovery. Alright. Shadows of the Past. Smallpox. This goes way back. Who remembers this? Ah! Okay. The art was different back in the day, but really, really neat card. Each player loses one life, discards the card, sacrifices a creature, then sacrifices a land. We'll see you. Alright. Got some packed. Ambitious cost. Tendrils of Corruption. Some X stuff going on. Ooh. I think you lost that fight, my friend. All right. And then we got Leprechaun Swamp. Pretty cool stuff. The old Leprechaun showing up. Two of those. All right. Finishing this one out. Nothing, uh, nothing really. I don't, uh, this was, this was bad. Let's, let's call a spade a spade. Oh, cool. We got Nixilis, uh, the Planeswalker. So this is probably like a Planeswalker deck or something, but no Nixilis. Wow, thanks, MJ Holdings. Make sure you just, you know, rip me off every time I crack one of these nowadays. I'll spread the good word. All right, hey, it ain't over yet. We got another one to go. I'm going to take a break real quick and see what's in here. Crystal Aguilar. I hope I'm saying that right. She sent me a little something. Let's see what we got cooking up in here. Hopefully nothing. That's hopefully something safe. Thanks, Crystal, for sending us out to the P.O. box. I'm going to pull this off camera just to make sure... I do not uh, reveal any address or anything. I'll check it out really quick, make sure everything's appropriate. Okay, that's legit. Looks pretty safe. Got ourselves a... Uh, okay, that does have an address all over it. Okay. What, oh, what is going on here, baby? Ooh, goat. Goat has matter, baby. All right, it says... 
Skadoosh! Hello, Joey Moss. Skadoosh Top Ninja. Hope that you're having a great day. My name is Crystal. My husband and I are not a patron, but are longtime YouTube followers. Well, I appreciate that. We love all your content and deck techs. If you could sign the cards in the red sleeves because goat lives matter. That is right. And send them back in the prepaid envelope. And keep the cards in black sleeve. Keepers in the black sleeve. You bet your bottom dollar. All right. That's legit. Because, uh, yeah, in the black sleeve. Because they are the best card in magic. Keep up the good work and looking forward to the next video. Crystal Aguilar. Did I say it right that time? I hope I did. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, wouldn't you know, wouldn't you know, the old great evolving oh, wilds. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I'm going to have to jump to Fable Passage as the number one card. I'm going to tell you. Okay, legit. You got. I got two uh, foil evolving wilds. I've been using these more recently, uh, signing them and sending them out to patrons. So foil evolving wilds are always welcome up in this house. Best card of magic. I can't believe you had the funds to do that. Probably had to sell that boat of yours you got, huh? I don't I understand, I understand. We got ourselves a goat token. That is cool. And we got ourselves another goat token. Is that all that's in here? Let's just double check, make sure. Goat tokens are pretty legit. Okay, perfect. Oh, cool little squirrel. Okay, ADHD. It gets me every time. Right, absolutely, I will get these back to you, Crystal. Thank you for sending that out. That was very thoughtful and nice of you. Um, yep, I'll get that out this week. Let's move it along, shall we? On to... Door number two. Should I say ripoff number two? As you can see, no funny business here. Corset 2020 and an Ixalan booster pack. Mmm. Jolly good time. Let's see what we get here. Ooh, that blade is sharp. Careful how you handle things. Here we go. All right, all right. Were any of you ever dumb enough to go out and purchase one of these? Let me know. I'm dying to hear about it. And what do we got in here? Boom, boom. Okay, not sure what this is. Hopefully it's not absolute trash. If we roll a 15, a 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20, it's going to be really good. I hate this crap. All right, we already know it's going to be atrocious. Let's just start by cracking open this bent-up booster pack sleeve. Whatever, let's go. All right, Captain oh Captain. So this is from Core 20. What do we got? Got ourselves the old Blight Beetle. There you go. Fun card. Actually, someone shut my deck down using one of these, and they main boarded it. I'm like, get out of here. Fun card. Use this quite a bit. Portal of Sanctuary. I like that. Chandra Novice Pyromancer. A little bit of ramp. Get a little bit of them elemental pumps. All right. What do we got? Oh, not bad. Drunk from Dreams is a cool card, though. The four drop. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order. Followed by scour, Scored, Scoured, Barons, and Convolute. Not bad. Counter-target spell. Let's control the pace for. Nice little shiner right there. We'll take it. Very, very cool. All right. So, yeah, yeah, nothing. I'm having bad luck with these packs. And you know what's funny? I was even going to say, typically, the booster packs are juiced. You guys remember when I was opening Ravnica Allegiance? And Guilds of Ravnica packs that were inside of these cubes? I was pulling out those shock lands like... It was my day job. It was insanity. It is stupid. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it was nuts. Like, I swear, every single one, I ended up pulling uh, a shock lane or something. It was just crazy. Like, the odds were nuts. And the value was definitely there at that time. Trova Temptation. Oh, man. I know, I know. I got stuck in this. Belligerent Brontodon. Oh, man. Must be belligerent. Open this. Deadeye Plunders. Okay, nice sharpshooter there. Please, come on. Saving Grace, please. Cabbage. Fancy. Blasting cannons. Ooh. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. If it's a non land card, you may cast that card this turn. Whenever you cast your third spell in a turn, you may transform Bantha's Blasting Cannons. Tap it, add red mana to your mana pool. For three, tap Spite, Fire, or Spitfire, Bastion deals three damage to target creature or player. This card's terrible. It didn't see play during standard. People laughed at it, and if you had it in your uh, in your deck at an LGS, um, yeah, you got picked on, and um, I, I was one of the people doing it. Okay, moving along. What do we got in here? That was atrocious. Ugh, we got beat up so bad in the booster packs. Oh, Champion of the Parish. What is this? If I'm not mistaken, this one might not be too bad. 
Uh, this this is familiar. I don't remember what it is. What are we looking at? What are we looking at here, guys? I stand for every cobbler, tanner, and fool in the town, and they stand for me. That's wonderful. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Champion of the Parish. Yeah, this is not a bad card, actually. One drop that gets really big really quick. You know, by turn three, you already got yourself a 3-3. Three, three. It is legit. Oh, you could, at least potentially. Dearly departed. The old six drop with some really cool spirits on it. I love the art on that. It's got flying as a 5-5. Five, five. As long as dearly departed is in your graveyard, each human creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one. Plus one counter on it. Very steep to get that out, though. I don't know about all that. Eerie Interlude. Cool card for three. Exile any number of target creature control. Return those cards to the battlefield under their owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. This card actually does see play. Eerie Interlude's not bad at all. I like the whole, like, ghost like theme here going on. I really do. It's pretty cool. Increasing Devotion for five. Put five one one white human creature token out of the battlefield. If Increasing Devotion was cast from a graveyard... Put 10 of those tokens on the battlefield instead. Flashback for 9. So you can basically play this again from your graveyard and then exile it. That's cool. Fun card. Fun, fun. Captain of the Mists. Ooh, bricked. 3 drop. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, untap Captain of the Mists. For deuce tap, you may tap or untap target permanent. It's a deuce 3. Anything else, please? No? All right. There might be something solid here. Doom Traveler. That's a cool card. Uh, sees play. Nathalia Smuggler. That's a creepy dude. Don't let him murder your kids, huh? All right. Okay. Human Rogue. Got the Inquisitor. Toppelgeist. Always liked that, too. I'm, I love ghost stuff. If you guys ever get a chance, check out this other channel, Ghost Static. G H O S T A. Is it G A T I C? Ghost Static. Like Ghost Attic or something like that. Really, really cool. Me and my friend, we go uh, explore haunted stuff. But yeah, I had to I had to give a little, uh, little shout out there because it's. We did two uh, investigations this week, and they will be going up um, over the next two weeks on that channel. But there's past investigations as well. All right, so we got the Thrabin Heretic, the old Kather, Lookout, the old Tandem. Okay, nothing really crazy going on here. Emancipation Angel, cool card though, nonetheless. All right, okay, Slayer of the Wicked, Tower Geist. Okay, fun art. This was a really cool, uh, cool art on this, on all this, whatever this is. Mist Raven. All right, wannabe storm crow happens. Gold knight redeemer. All right, four four angel there. We'll take it. She's cute, huh? She looks lonely though. Sharpened pitchfork. What? Equipped creature has first strike as long as equipped creature is a human. You ain't killing nobody. Stop it. Just stop it. Bonds of faith. Some of this. Some of that. Gather the towns, folks. Does he play? Moment momentary blink. Uh, the butcher's cleaver. Oh, watch out. That's a messy cleanup. I'll bleed. Okay, got rebuke. Pour with the pages. Uh, I got my. I got poured out. Seraph Sanctuary is a pretty good card though. Um, and there's a battlefield. You gain one life. Whenever an angel enters battlefield under control, you gain one life. Tap it. Add a colorless to your mana pool. That'd be cool if they put that in historic. I don't know if it's in historic or not, but if they did, I would play it. Okay. It looks like that is really it. that angel of sanctuary, or what angel of sanctuary, whatever it was. That may have may have very well been the highlight of this opening. God, this was terrible, guys. Um, yeah, what a pitiful video. Oh, my goodness. This uh, is why you do not go out and purchase these. I don't even think I'm going to put the value in this video because it was that bad. I don't think there's a point whatsoever. Um, I'd have to say we got less than five bucks worth of value. Ugh. Well, hey, let me spend money so you don't have to. All right, that'll about wrap it up. In case I don't see ya, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Skadoosh! Uh.